Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the point 2, negative 1, which we're calling p, lies on the curve 1 over 1 minus x. And we're asked if, the, if q is the point x, 1 over 1 minus x, use your calculator to find the slope of the secant line pq, so the line that goes between these two points. Correct to the first six decimal places for the following values of x. So we do first, x is equal to 1.5. If x is equal to 1.5, then the point 1.5, 1 over 1 minus 1.5, is the point q, right? These are all just different examples where we're plugging in some value for x to get q. So we have this point and the point 2, negative 1. And what we have to do is we have to find the slope of the line that goes between these two points. And for all these other points, we're just going to be plugging in 1.9, 1.99, 2.5, whatever we have to, in for x in this first point, and then finding the slope between them. So our slope is the change in y over the change in x. So that's going to be this term, 1 over 1 minus 1.5 minus negative 1 over 1.5 minus 2. And plug this into your calculator, and you'll get that this is exactly 2. Next, we have to plug it in 1.9 and 1.99 and so on. And to not spend 10 minutes doing the exact same problem over and over again, I've taken the time to do this ahead of time. And what we can see is these are the values that are getting closer and closer to 2 from below 2, so 1.9 to 1.99 to 1.999. And here it's from above, so 2.5 to 2.1 to 2.01 to 2.001, right? You can notice that these values are all getting closer and closer to 2. We got the raw values here, right? If you want to uh, pause here, you can take a look at all the values and how I calculated them. But what's important is that they're approaching 1. Because we're asked in part B to say, using the results of part A, guess the value of the slope of the tangent line to the curve at P to negative 1. And as we saw, as we're getting closer and closer to this point, the secant line approaches a slope of 1. That is going to be our guess that the slope of this tangent line is 1. And in part C, we're asked using the slope, find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at this point. So for just standard slope-intercept form, m is 1, so this is y equals x plus b. Plugging in this point, y is negative 1, x is 2, plus b. To cancel, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, is equal to b. So y is equal to x times 1, but don't even have to write that, plus b is minus 3. So we got all of our secant lines, we saw that their slopes approached 1, and we used that to create the tangent line y equals x minus 3.